It's 1942 in Warsaw, Poland. The Nazis are in power, and the Jews have all been forced to live in crowded, enclosed areas in a neighborhood called the Warsaw Ghetto. Imagine that you're 16 years old, and you have to risk your life smuggling food from the outside just to help your family survive. That's what Mira must do in the book 28 Days, a novel of resistance in the Warsaw Ghetto by David Safir. Mira loves her little sister Hannah more than anything. She would do anything to take care of her. Hannah makes up beautiful stories of other worlds just to keep them entertained and to let their minds rest from the struggles and the sadness of the ghetto. Their father has died not long ago and their mother still hasn't recovered emotionally. Mira gets involved with a group of brave resistance fighters planning an uprising in the Warsaw Ghetto. With only a small number of outdated weapons, they still end up holding out longer than anyone thought they could for 28 days. Will Mira survive? Will she be able to save her family? And how will she choose between her sweetheart Daniel and Amos, the bold resistance fighter who she is secretly drawn to. 28 Days is a love story, a historical novel, and a novel of bravery and standing up against evil. It's well written, it's engaging, and it hooks you from the very beginning. I could not stop reading this book, and I quickly became attached to all the characters and their relationships. As the author writes in a note to the reader, 28 Days is not just about the past. It's about all of us. It's about love. And it's about those universal questions we all should ask ourselves. What would you do to survive? What would you sacrifice your life for others? Or would you sacrifice others to save yourself? And what it really is about is what kind of human what kind of human do you want to be? So check it out. I give it a five out of five pencil rating.